starring Cloris Leachman, John Shepard, George Chandler, and John Provost as Timmy. And, of course, Lassie. All clear! Take cover, everybody! All set? Okay, let her go! Wow, that's three of them. Wish we could watch. I'm going. Stay here if you want. Something's busted into smithereens. Oh, we won't get too close. We'll just go over there. I bet we can see him good then. Come on, it's okay. All clear! Hey, cover, everybody! All set? Get back! Get back! Both weren't killed. She's a little stunned, but she'll be all right. Gee, I'm sorry, girl. Now, look here, young fellow. You get away from here and stay away from here. Do you understand? There's going to be a lot more blasting. Yes, sir. You're pretty scared? You and me both. Now, go on, get. Come on, Lassie. Lassie. Come on, we gotta get home. You still scared? Come on. That's fine, girl. Come on. Ah, oh. where you been, son? Your mom's been wanting you for something. You and Lassie better hunt up some eggs right away. Get the egg basket, Lassie. I'll get it. What's wrong with her? She acts peculiar. Timmy, give me the basket. Here, girl. What's the matter, Skipper? Well, let's go in the house and talk it over. I need a cup of coffee anyway. Me too. I'll get her. Nothing about that noise can hurt you, girl. The blast and scaring her. Come on, come on. So you found our wandering boy. How do you expect me to bake your favorite cake without eggs? She dropped it when Uncle Petrie gave it to her. I don't understand. Paul, what's the matter with Lassie? 
She acts like she doesn't know who she is. Sit, Lassie. Sit like a good girl. Well, give me your paw, then. You can shake hands, can't you? There's an explosion. She got hurt. What explosion, son? We went down to watch the men building the road. You were told not to go anywhere near there. I know, but I thought the place we went was okay. Do we have to ask you for your promise every time you're told not to do something? I'll never forget anymore. Tell us what happened, son. Last well, remember we weren't supposed to be there, and she's tried to keep me from going. But I went anyway. And then there's this big explosion. And Lassie covered me so I wouldn't get hurt. And something hit her instead of me. Oh, Timmy. I'm sorry, Mom. Even if Lassie hadn't have been hurt, I shouldn't have gone. I would have told you, honest. I know. How is she? I don't know. I think I better call Doc Weaver, though. It's a nasty bruiser, all right. Easy, girl. Easy. Well, Jenny, would you ring Doc Weaver for me, please? Thanks. Oh, Doc, this is Paul Martin. Oh, hello, Paul. Sure, go right ahead. I'm not busy. When? I see. What kind of symptoms? Well, it's uh, hard to describe. She doesn't respond to her name, uh, like she was dazed, you know. Severe blow could cause a concussion. It may clear up by itself. If it doesn't, we'll x-ray tomorrow. Whatever you say, Doc. If she doesn't get better. Right. Goodbye. What do you say? He thinks it might be a concussion. Wants to take some x-rays tomorrow. I guess it's possible he might have to operate. No, no! Timmy, please. She didn't want to go with me, but I made her. She'll be fine, Timmy. You bet she will. Why, by morning, she'll be right as rain. You mark my words. Now you take her in your room. Lassie. She's not here. Lassie? She doesn't know her name. I wonder if there's any sense in calling her. How would she know to come home? That's right, Paul. We have to try to find her. She's like a lost dog. Well, let's see if we can find her. Let's try here, Timmy. scraps I just threw to the pig. She wasn't after any of them, was she? I don't know. Nothing worse than a dog turned pig killer. You know, Paul, that dog might be a bad-looking collie she was cleaned up. Say, what's the name of that collie at the Martin place up Calverton Way? Lassie? Yeah, I think that's it. Ah, oh, that dog wouldn't stray this far or look that dirty. Hey, Lassie. Lassie, you come in. See, that ain't her. Collies sure make good farm dogs, Paul. Take the herd and better than any breed. Bet I could teach a dog like that to bring the pigs in, no matter where they got to. You asking to keep her? Can I, Paul? Bet I could train her good. You said that about the last dog you had before I run off. Can't call that a dog without just a dumb cur. Well, better call Calverton first. See if the Martins are missing that dog of theirs. You never can't tell. And if it ain't their dog, then I suppose you can keep her. Better treat her a whole lot better than the last one, though, or she'll take to the hills, too. Don't worry, Paul. Of course, she's still astray. Them kind of dogs can get pretty mean. You watch your step. Sure. Uh, look after, will you, while I make that phone call.
What'd they say? The Martins? Yeah. Like a figure, that dog of theirs is home all right. You going down to the South 40? What you got there? I gotta make friends with her, don't I? Gotta win a dog's confidence before you can train her. You better make sure she's worth the trouble. You wait and see. You want something good to eat? Come on now. Come on. Yeah. Take it easy. I ain't letting you get away like that other one. Down the meadow, across them, all over, even as far as Clampett's place. Not a sign. She has to come back. She has to. There's Paul. Any luck, Paul? I was hoping she'd be here when I got back. Go inside, son. Sit down, rest for a minute. Okay. What are you going to do, honey? There isn't anyone in the valley who doesn't know Lassie. Someone found to see her. And unless... Uh, Jenny, this is Ruth Martin. Oh, yes, Ruth. How are you? Oh, that's good. I'm fine, too, thank you. Well, land sakes alive, what am I here for? I'm not to do favors. Lassie? Well, uh, how in the world did she let a thing like that happen to her? Oh, my. So if you can let a few people know, we haven't any idea where or how far she's gone. Well, before I'm through, there won't be a soul left in Calverton that won't be looking for her. If anything could happen to Lassie. No sense wasting time talking. I got calls to make. What'd she say? She's going to call everyone in Calverton. And if I know Jenny, she'll do just that. Now, young man, how about your milk? Do you think Jenny will find Lassie? We'll see. Now, you drink that. You haven't had anything to eat all day. What if she got real sick? Who would take care of her? She could get better, too, son. Sure. Sometimes them things clear up all by themselves. And then maybe she would remember where she belongs, and she'd come back, wouldn't she? Timmy, your milk. I was making a wish, and you have to close your eyes real tight to make it come true. Yeah, that old collar fits good. Now we can see how smart you are. Sit. Sit. Get down. Get down. Come on, get down. Don't you know what down means? Now get down. Now, you stay there till I call you. Okay? Come here. Come here. Come here. No, you don't. Ah, no, you don't. Ah, come here. Come on. You can't bite through that rope either. Now, come on. Come on. See if you learned anything. Come here. Come here. You'd like to bite me, would you? Let go of me. Let go of me. Get back. Get off of me. Let go of me. Let go of me. Get back. Get back. 
What's going on? Look what she done. You better twist the hitch around her muzzle while you get a chance. She might try biting again. That dog's just plain mean. Lucky thing she ate them scraps. She might have killed one of the shoats. Yeah, she sure might. You better run her off. I suppose she comes back. Well, I ain't sure she's a killer. Well, what do you call that? She could have taken Mom off. Maybe. I think we ought to shoot her. All right. Guess I put some sense in your head, hmm? Won't be long before sundown. Why don't you and Uncle Petrie take the truck? She might have gone further than we thought, over Capital City Way. She could have taken the old cutoff, how we know. Well, at least you'll feel better doing something. And take Timmy with you. I'll be here if Jenny calls. How about it, Skipper? You want to come along? You could tell us which way to go, OK? Let's ask those men who are blasting the road. All right, let's go. Here. Take her down the gully. Oh, Pa, how come so far? Well, maybe I just won't like hearing the sound of that shot. You, Jenks? That's me. My name's Harris, state road crew. That's your fence line in the hollow down there? Yeah. My surveyors will be coming through here in a day or so, and they'll be putting out stakes down there. Well, that's OK. Be sure and tell them to keep my gates closed, or they'll be spending all their time rounding up my hogs. <laughs> they'll be careful. Just thought I'd let you know a few days ahead of time. I appreciate that. Where are the dogs? She's a hog killer, mister. You better keep clear. Well, I thought collies were pretty trustworthy. But she ain't. Huh? They're good and bad, just like people. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, I'll be seeing you. Yeah. Someone's trying to get us, they'll call again. Now, get that over with, will you, before I change my mind? Come on. How long will it be? Here comes the foreman. Better talk to him. The man wants to talk to you. There. Do you think we can get through? Not right away. They were all set to blast when I came through. You came down from that way, didn't you? Yes, son. Did you see my dog? You know the one I was with before. Is this your boy? That's right. I tell you, almost got killed a little while ago. Came up over that bank before we saw him. He was quite a scary young fellow. Lucky you had that dog with you. That was Lassie. Have you seen her? She's lost. No, afraid I haven't. Well, thanks anyway. Oh, wait a minute. I did see a collie. Well, I've had her since she was a hog killer. What fella? You know who he was? Oh, uh, just a minute, uh, Jenks. Jenks. They don't own a collie. Lassie. I bet it's Lassie. Now, don't get all stirred up, Timmy. Could be another one. They said she was a killer, worried about their pigs, I guess. Kid was going to shoot it. No! We've got to stop them. It might be our dog. Can you let us through now, please? Oh, no, they're ready to blast right now. Can I talk straight to you, mister? You don't help us get through, you're going to break this boy's heart. Please, let us. Please! All right. Follow me and stay close. You can carry around here. Give me a hand.
ranch and Sam Jenk shoot the dog for no reason. He said something about a killer. That don't fit Lassie. Oh, it sure doesn't. This is as good a place as any. Come here. Where's the dog? I'm trying to get her back. I just got a call. Up there, quick. Get in. Bet you'd sure like to get loose, huh? Well, you ain't getting no more chances. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Glad to help. Now you get. I'll tend to you later. I'm sorry, Martin, but that dog of yours didn't seem to know her name. It's all right. We understand. Lassie! Lassie! Well, she sure knows it now. weren't killed. She's a little stunned, but she'll be all right. Gee, I'm sorry, girl. Now, look at here, young fellow. You get away from here and stay away from here. Do you understand? There's going to be a lot more blasting. Yes, sir. You pretty scared? You and me both. Now, go on, get. Come on, Lassie. Lassie. Come on, we gotta get home. You still scared? Come on. That's fine, girl. Come along. Ah, oh. where you been, son? Your mom's been wanting you for something. You and Lassie better hunt up some eggs right away. Get the egg basket, Lassie. I'll get it. What's wrong with her? She acts peculiar. Doesn't respond to her name, uh, like she was dazed, you know. Severe blow could cause a concussion. It may clear up by itself. If it doesn't, we'll x-ray tomorrow. Whatever you say, Doc. If she doesn't get better. Right. Goodbye. What'd he say? He thinks it might be a concussion. Wants to take some x-rays tomorrow. I guess it's possible he might have to operate. No, no! Timmy, please. She didn't want to go with me, but I made her. She'll be fine, Timmy. You bet she will. Why, by morning, she'll be right as rain. You mark my words. Now, you take her in your room. Lassie. She's not here. Lassie? Here, Lassie! 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 She doesn't know her name. I wonder if there's any sense in calling her. How would she know to come home? That's right, Paul. We have to try to find her. She's like a lost dog. Well, let's see if we can find her. Let's try here, Timmy.
How'd you get in there? Hey, Fox, come here. Timmy, give me the basket. Here, girl. What's the matter, Skipper? Well, let's go in the house and talk it over. I need a cup of coffee anyway. Me too. I'll get her. <laughs> Nothing about that noise can hurt you, girl. The blast and scaring her. Come on. Come on. Boy, how do you expect me to bake your favorite cake without eggs? What's the matter? Hey, Mom, Mom! What is it, dear? Something's wrong with Lassie. She won't come when you call her, and she doesn't even know her own name. It's all my fault. Your fault? I thought she'd be all right when I brought her home. But she wouldn't get the egg basket. And she dropped it when Uncle Petrie gave it to her. I don't understand. Paul, what's the matter with Lassie? She acts like she doesn't know who she is. Sit, Lassie. Sit like a good girl. Well, give me your... Starring Cloris Leachman, John Shepard, George Chandler, and John Provost as Timmy. And, of course, Lassie. All clear! Take cover, everybody! All set? Okay, let her go! Shake hands, can't you? It's an explosion. She got hurt. What explosion, sir? We went down to watch the men building the road. You were told not to go anywhere near there. I know, but I thought the place we went was okay. Do we have to ask you for your promise every time you're told not to do something? I'll never forget anymore. Tell us what happened, son. Lash remembered we weren't supposed to be there, and she's tried to keep me from going. But I went anyway. And then there's this big explosion, and Lassie covered me so I wouldn't get hurt. And something hit her instead of me. Oh, Timmy. I'm sorry, Mom. Even if Lassie hadn't have been hurt, I shouldn't have gone. I would have told you, honest. I know. How is she? I don't know. I think I'd better call Doc Weaver, though. There's a nasty bruise there, all right. Easy, girl. Easy. Well, Jenny, would you ring Doc Weaver for me, please? Thanks. Oh, 
dark. This is Paul Martin. Oh, hello, Paul. Sure, go right ahead. I'm not busy. When? I see. What kind of symptoms? Well, it's uh, hard to describe. She doesn't.